Hi, everyone. Uh, as uh, he introduced, I'm Asim, and this is the first time I'm in SPS uh, on behalf of my existing company, T Connectivity. Uh, as you guys must have gone around, I was particularly impressed by the key topics that almost all our competitors and existing client was focusing on. That was artificial intelligence, machine learning, and also about high data speed connectivity that you're there. But if you look at the existing infrastructure within factory automation and in process automation, there are some limitations which are not enabling that high-speed transmission to go to the cloud connectivity, right? So you need some new infrastructure and hardware to help that evolution go forward. And this is where single pair Ethernet is going to take the next step to move to next transition, right? So I'll just show you what I mean by the basics of single pair Ethernet, right? So T Connectivity is one of the founding members for single pair Ethernet infrastructure that we have. We also have a consortia and also some other members alongside us like Hartings and Phoenix Contact who are a part of our ecosystem which enable our customers to help transition to the faster Ethernet adoption rates, right? So we already have a standard which we call it IEC 6171 as a new standard for enabling companies to simplify and cost efficiently connect devices on the edge networks and make them transition in real time, right? T connectivity is also one-stop shop for most of the industrial connectivity solutions. We have M8 connectors and we also have a hybrid M12, which is enabling transmission of power over data line and also signal via up to one gigabits of speed connectivity. As I mentioned, we also have a data solution for easy power di distribution. Uh, existing technology, like we last year we launched around M8 hybrid connection, which was supporting power about 50 watts, but now with M12 hybrid, we are supporting power delivery about 11 kilowatts, and that to up to one gigabits of speed connectivity. If you look at how single pair ethernet is evolving in the transition, it allows more movement in the robotics and the machine machinery applications, and it needs less wire. Earlier, what was happening, you need to use four wires or eight, eight wires if you need high data transmission, but we are doing this with just two pairs of copper wires, and it will achieve the same results with traditional alternatives. With the help of single pair Ethernet, it will allow you to reduce wire complexity, and it will also allow you to make small form factors and it will be very cost efficient. So if you see an Ethernet switch with existing 12 port or 16 port with RJ45, with single pair Ethernet, you can add either increase the ports or you can decrease the footprint of the hardware and it will be more efficient in your factory automation and process automation environments. With, due to the less number of wires, it will also help you to reduce weight which will lead to less copper utilization and it will also help you to achieve your CO2 emission targets as well in terms of minimizing the footprints that you have. Single pair Ethernet is also enabling the capabilities for power delivery, power over data line up to 24 watt, up to 96 watts, and also uh, with M12 hybrid, as I mentioned, it, you can have it up to 11 kilowatt connectors as well. With SPE, you can have IoT solutions with higher bandwidth in a smaller package, as I mentioned before. And if you look at the image over there, it will help you to connect the field level connect uh, hardware, like the sensors directly to the cloud. Previously, you need to have some kind of middleware or enablers in the form of gateways to connect your field IOs to the cloud. But with SPE, you can directly connect your sensors to the cloud as well. Where this single pair ethernet technology is helping. So if you look at the hybrid applications, you can have this in your existing infrastructure, in sensors or actuators. You can have it in robotics, machinery, and industrial automation. And also within T1 devices, you can have it with switches, sensors, vision sensors, and up to testing equipments as well. And it also provides you with over voltage protection in case of any emergency or any discrepancies in the hardware as well. This is an example of how the SPE adoption is happening across the timelines. So you can see we are adding the hardware and then we are migrating it to a new hardware and then we are also doing the integration. We're already working with some of the biggest factory automation players to help bring those hardware to market and you can certainly see some of the progress happening in the next or later this year and also in the beginning of first quarter. So if you see the SP technology, it fits your existing hardware and provide you with the required specification for robotics and for factory automation and also for process automation. 
As I mentioned, this leads to less downtime for machinery because of reduced cable breakage. It also has significantly more bending cycles across different robotic applications and also for some of the sensors application. And it results in increased life cycle and cost saving across the industry. With gigabit ethernet cost efficiency, it significantly reduces your need for gateways or bus couplers and translators because we are directly connecting with the sensors to the cloud without the gateways or the bus couplers. This is why we tell this that you need to move to new transition. Obviously, it's a new technology. It's a bit more expensive. But the, the, with, due to the high speed data connections and high data requirements, we expect some of the bigger players to move to this transition sooner or later. This is uh, more or less a voice of customer based on our interactions with some of the existing players to understand what they want from the single pair ethernet technology and also from T connectivity. So if you understand what our customer needs, what they need is no or reduced time, downtime. And T connectivity is providing that options in terms of providing the best solutions that are water resistance and also dust resistance to able them to resist intensive vibration, shocks, and also heat and transmission of high-speed data to the cloud without breaking down. We are also helping our customers to keep up with accelerating trends in smart manufacturing, right? And T connectivity has a broad portfolio in terms of circular and rectangular connectors, and we are providing the solutions to bring those power and data capability via a two-pair copper wire, and also providing the ethernet connections to a factory floor meeting the needs of ruggedized offering, which is more reliant and future-proof. We're also providing a cost-effective and efficient solutions that work with the entire system. T connectivity is uniquely positioned along with our consortia partners to reduce complexity and cost, and it provides design flexibility to integrate your existing hardware and also evolve the mineralization processes. We're also providing some real-time and high-speed communication, as I mentioned, in terms of connectors and cables that are virtually barrier-free communication and also helps you to connect to the cloud for seamless communications. If you look at some of the hybrid solution that I mentioned in terms of M12 connector, this is something that we recently launched a couple of months back. Earlier, we were only focused on the M8 connectors. The IEC standard standardized this with more increased data, uh, data and power requirements. It allows you to deliver greater power delivery and higher power levels. Uh, as I mentioned over there in the slide as well, maximum 50 watts up to 1.6 ampere, but if you use a hybrid connection, it allows you for 11 kilowatts and up to 16 amperes as well. With the hybrid uh, SP solutions, there's minimization of no data power loss, or also it helps you to virtually connect or, and reduce the downtime in terms of providing the higher current levels. TE hybrid solutions are more attractive to use in networks where actuator and centers are mounted directly on the machines. Earlier, this, there was limitation in terms of RJ45 in terms of providing a high-speed connection because of the limitations that RJ45 provide. But with the hybrid M12 connectors, it provides you to move forward in the directions of high-speed data con uh, connectivity. It also provides you with the more flexibility regarding power distribution over the networks. With the SPE hybrid configurator, which we are providing on our website at teconnectivity.com, you can actually design your networks and understand how this particular solution fits within your existing infrastructure. It provides you with an increased flexibility to distribute power across different specifications and different networks as well. It supports both power across networks and also point-to-point -point connections that power over data line requires. This means that it will distribute higher currents to power several cascaded power devices as well, especially in an environment where you need multiple devices connected across a single automation process. It also provides for reduced electromagnetic interference. The reason why, if you see our M12 hybrid connector, we are using a shielding process within, which reduces the electromagnetic interference as well. It provides the connectors that includes metal shielding, which is separating both the data pair and the power pair inside the connector. And this significantly reduces the electromagnetic interference, which was not possible in the existing or the traditional technology outside. If you use the uh, T connectivity SP connectors as well, 
and cables across your networks in real time communication, it will help you to lower the applied cost which might be prevalent in your existing infrastructure. There will be no loss of information across your connector portfolio and also in your different processes. And the data transmission will be much more streamlined, unified across the entire ecosystem, which will result in benefit in a real-time scenario. If you look at the movement freedom across the application, T connectivity also provides you with a reduced number of wires compared to traditional Ethernet transmission. SPE enables the Ethernet transmission with two wires, with uh, eight wires in the existing hardware. So if you are transmitting across 100 megabit connection, you are using four wires. But if you need a one gigabit connection with the existing technology, you are looking at four pair of copper wires. But with SPE, you are looking more or less towards uh, two pair of copper wires to do all your tasks. Reducing the number of wires in a small form factors make it more cost efficient and obviously lighter across the different value chain that is there. So this is how I, I'll go back and see you how it is structured across. So you have the private cloud over there that is working across engineering workstations, but you need a SPE powered ethernet switch that is there at the bottom in addition and also in the migration process as well. And if you connect your sensor level components across the ethernet switches, you can see that how many number of wires that are reduced. If you see in the green and the orange bar, it's basically one copper wire one pair of copper wire that is going, one for data and one for power across your field level IO devices, and it is connecting you, helping you to connect to private cloud as well, and also your control systems that are going through the cloud in this timeline. As we, more, uh, as we evolve and mature ac across this industry, you can understand that with the sensors technology taking over the ecosystems, you can see that this sensors will actually take a, a part of the complete IO ecosystem, and you'll have Sensor technologies, PLCs, IPC, forming a part of an ecosystem to connect to the cloud and take away your data transmission from the ground level to higher up. Yeah. So this is all I have on the single pair of Ethernet technology. I'll be very happy to take any questions regarding this. And I would also like you to invite to our booth in terms of actually see the demo for single pair Ethernet on some real-time applications that are running across our booth as well in Hall 10. Thank you.